Well, it has to be character-based for me, and Peter Parker is the best character in all of Marvel Comics, and one of the best characters, I think, in all pop culture. And by starting off with him as a character, uh, the scale of the movie can get big, and you can go to really epic places, but in terms of who he is as a character, he's so grounded and so relatable that you never, I think, have to worry about losing sight of the human side of it because he's such a great uh, character. I think he sees this window for him to be a regular kid closing uh, as his world is getting more complicated and that's what drives him to evaluate like what are the most important things in his life and it's like this is this has been there you know and uh, he he's he's he feels like he has to move on it now because he might not ever get that chance again you know he's he's seen the sacrifices that his like mentors and heroes have had to make and it's all becoming like a lot more important to him now My goal always is to just show people something that they've never seen before. And uh, especially after the events of Endgame, this movie sort of, this movie is going to tell you what's going to come next and is going to really show you what Peter's place is going to be in this universe moving forward. You know, we're taking Spider Man way out of his comfort zone and putting him up against uh, a threat that he can't comprehend. The thing we were building up in the first movie was just her being smart and suspicious and always sort of like spying on him and watching him. And the question was always, is it because she likes him or is it because she thinks that he's Spider-Man? And so I really wanted to build off of that where he's interpreting it as, uh, I see her like looking at me and I think that that means that she likes me and I like her back and I just gotta, you know, find out if that's true.